Hello my friends and welcome to another video. I'm Jeanette with Vival Vintage Designs. In this video I want to explain what I envisioned in my head and what I actually ended up with. In my mind I was going to use a pink, a green, a yellow, pitch black and snow cap and I was going to blow out this flower where the center was black but off of the center, you would have a little bit of green in the center of each petal. And the petals as they came out were going to be yellow and pink. And it was beautiful. Of course, I didn't plan it out too well. I was just doing laundry and I got the idea. And while I was waiting for the laundry to dry, I said, let me go give it a try. So in hindsight now, I think that if I were to try this again, and I will, I would actually have stacked the colors. I would have put down a drop of green, a drop of pink or yellow rather, and then a drop of pink and blown, done that for each individual petal and blown them out individually. However, that's not what I did. I started to put down the inks. I put down the pitch black. Then I put the green, it mixed with the black. And then when I put down the pink and the yellow, they mixed with the black. At this point, I had a mess of ink in the center of the paper. And I had absolutely no idea what I was going to end up with because you couldn't even see the individual colors anymore. But, uh, you know, I preach this all the time. Don't give up on a painting. Keep going. You can't make it worse than you already think it is. Well, maybe sometimes you can. I know I have. But for the most part, I would say that I'm able to save a painting if I just keep going. And the beauty of alcohol inks is that if you don't, and you're blowing out a flower, if you don't like a petal, you can simply blow another one over it. You can add a little bit more ink and change the color or just fix it. It's oh, Usually it's fixable. <laughs> I would say a good 80% of the time it's fixable. So here you can see that I'm drawing that mess of ink that I have in the paper. You can't tell that I have one, two, three, four different inks on there. It all looks black. But again, I thought I'm just going to go with it. So I'm using large amounts of alcohol because I want to create these big petals. And you can see that the colors that are coming out of this mess are so pretty. I can see a little bit of the yellow and the pink and I'm, they're kind of brownish, but I'm getting all these beautiful veins in the petals coming from the center. And I should have left well enough alone because I loved the way these petals were looking. The colors were gorgeous, although they didn't look anything like what I had envisioned. I was still really happy. Look at those lines as I'm blowing these petals out that are coming from the center towards the tip. It's beautiful. But of course I couldn't leave well enough alone. I wanted to see a little bit more pink. So I put a little bit more ink down. Then I decided, well, if I'm gonna add the pink, then I'm gonna add a little bit more yellow. So I dropped in a little bit more yellow. So now as I start to blow out these petals, you can see they're a bit darker. You can see more of the pink and they're turning a little bit more brown. But I'm still happy with it. It still looks nice. And I'm still getting those lines in each of the petals, which is so pretty. And you can see that I'm using a good amount of alcohol and that's how you get those big petals. If you use a small amount of alcohol, you're going to get very spindly, very narrow petals. And you see I had dropped a bit of alcohol on one of the petals and I had a white spot, but again, you can just blow another petal over it. So this was looking really good. I was very happy. Again, it looks absolutely nothing like what I had envisioned, but overall I was happy with it. 
So now I lost a lot of the black that was in the center. So I thought to add a little bit more of the pitch black, but then decided against it. I thought, let me just start creating the center. So you can see that the top left hand side of the center was kind of white. So that's where I want my light to be coming from. And the bottom of the center was a little bit darker. So that's where I decided to keep the center in shadow. And I'm still trying to mix that ink in the snow cap. I've kept it on its side, tried to blend it together, but it wasn't working so well. So what I do is I put it on my little shot glass there, and then I use the blow dryer to dry it. And that makes it a little bit thicker and it makes it work better, I find. So I'm adding multiple layers and drying in between and you can see that it's really coming together. And I was so happy with the way this turned out. So as I tell you all the time, don't give up on your paintings, just keep going. You might be surprised what you end up with. I was really, really happy with the way this turned out. I love the way the center turned out. It looked like it was standing out from the painting. I don't even think that looking at it in this video does it any justice. And so because I had some ugly edges to my paper, I decided to use a black Posca pen with a broad nib to create a border. Once I was done with the border, I decided to clean up some of those petals. They had some frilly edges. So I started with a micro brush and alcohol. And then I remembered that I have blending pens and they work really great for cleaning up any spindly edges that you have to your petals. Well, we are at the end of the video. I hope that you enjoyed this and that you give it a try. Let me know if you have any questions in the comment section. Please don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And check out the description box for links to the products used. Also, check out our Facebook group, Vivo Vintage Design Tutorials, where you can post your versions of the paintings and techniques learned on this channel. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye!